In the previous episode, we learned how to use sprite sheet animations inside Panda or how to create sprite sheet animations inside Panda 3D. And in this episode, we are going to learn another technique to actually create sprite sheet uh, or sprite based animations. So I already prepared here just a basic code which creates just an empty Panda 3D window and the usual stuff, setting the config variables, uh, creating a my game which inherits from the show base, creating the init method, overwriting the show base's init method, setting the background, background color and just moving the camera's position uh, on the y axis back negative 5. So this time for creating the sprite animation we are going to use something called the texture cards. So you can search for Panda 3D texture cards and here in the second link automatic, te automatic texture animation. Let's open this and here you can see the command for it. So egg-texture-cards giving it the output file name which is the flip.egg giving it the frames per second. So in this case it is 30 and uh, image file name. So in this case this is explosion.jpg. And this egg-texture-cards um, executable is comes pre-installed with Panda 3D. So you don't have to install anything. And uh, okay, so I have prepared here a folder on my desktop. And in this folder I just copied 10 images of a walking animation. And the texture cards uh, only works with separate images, so it does not work uh, with sprite sheets like the previous, uh, in, like I showed you in the previous uh, episode. So if you want to use texture cards, you have to separate out each of each of uh, each of the frames into into, into individual uh, PNG or JPEG files. So now let's just open a CMD in this folder, and here I already prepared the command for it, and as you can see, it is the egg dash texture dash cards. The output will be the jack dot egg file. The FPS will be set to 10, and here are the files. So the walk1.png, walk2.png, walk3.png, and so on and so forth, so up to walk10.png. I'm just going to copy this and go back to the CMD and copy it here. And now if I run this command, here it says writing jack.egg and it created here this jack.egg. So we specified here that the output should be called jack.egg. And now if I open this jack.egg file, as you can see, it con contains also the command, command here inside this comment and also the textures. So the walk 9, walk 8, walk 7, walk uh, 6 and so on. And here in this group, which contains the scalar, we set the FPS to 10, and also the vertex pool, which contains the vertices. So th this is the first vertex, its UV coordinate, the second vertex, its UV coordinate, and so on and so forth. And here also cre created some groups. Okay, so technically you just have to copy these files together with the with the images to to your assets folder i created here an assets folder and in the assets folder i have a texture cards and i'm going to copy everything in this one in this folder so paste okay let's add it to github okay and now they are here so here is the jack that egg and also all the 10 uh, frames of the of the animation and now the only thing you have to do is actually just load this file so 
I'm just loaded here from the assets folder and texture cars folder the jack.egg file so this file and also reparented this to the renderer so jack.reparent to render and now if I run this file I have an, an, an an animation. It is not sprite sheet, but it is still sprite based animation. So remember that, um, as I said, you have to use individual uh, files for this. And one more thing is, uh, which I don't like, is it creates a square, although this image is more a rectangle. So here, in this jack.egg file, if I open it up with Sublime, you can find that the size is between negative 5 to 5 and negative 5 to 5 so and if you take if we take a look on one of these images properties and the de details it has a size of uh, 500, 579 by 763 so it's not a square it, it, it's a rectangle so its width is uh, shorter than its height uh, for this we have to edit once again the egg file and we need to search which one is which so this is negative 5 on x and or negative 0.5 on x and 0.5 on the y so it means it is a it is the upper left corner so here uh, we need we need to add the aspect ratio of the image and which is once again data details and go to go to my calculator so it is 579 divided by the 763 so the aspect ratio is always the width divided by the height and which equals to 0 0.75884 I'm just going to copy this part and go back to here and everywhere in the y-axis I'm just going to copy these numbers so this is the uh, as I say the upper left vertice this is the lower left vertice so instead of negative 0.5 it will be negative 0.75884 this is the so 0.5 to the right and negative 0.5 down so it is the lower right vertice so also here changing the y to neg negative 0.75884 and here the last vertice and also the y change it for 0.75884 and just save this file copy it over copy and paste it here into the texture cards and overwrite it so now if I run it now as you can see it maintains the its width and its height so it's no more quashed to a square and of course as usual I'm also going to upload this code together with these files to my github page and you can find the link to that GitHub in the video description.